Hey, welcome back. Sorry it's been a while, but uh, it's just crazy here now with me working full time. My spare time to do things has been very limited, but I'm trying to get back into doing some things. And something I've got here I picked up from Walmart just for fun is a Han Solo toy blaster, um, which is actually fairly accurate. You know, it's not screen perfect but it's very close to accurate to the way the real blaster works so I'm gonna paint it up and work it up it's got some raised markings here that need to be sanded away some text here about the toy uh, on the other side here it's got some printing and some other raised text that will all need to be sanded off other than that you know it's got some screw holes here uh, uses batteries which I will not be using some screws here and here and it's got another screw hole up here in the piece and I'm gonna have to fill those in and putty those in um, it's also because it's a toy it's two pieces and I'll need to glue and seal up these seams here and then sand it all down and smooth it out so it looks like it's one metal piece and in the front here I'll need to drill out these holes for the uh, cone of the blaster take out the front here so that it's open also need to cut out the front and rear pieces here of the view piece and I'm using these photos here I found uh, actual photos of the prop used in Star Wars for reference so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on going around the model and gluing all these seams together so I'm gonna start with this big one on the bottom which is not held together very well just by the screws in the model. I want to throw some glue in here, squeeze it together, and then to hold it together for a while I've also attached some clamps here to secure it until it completely dries. And that's completely dry now. Um, I'll just need to sand it down. I've also gone around and I've glued the rest of the seams all around the toy down here towards the barrel um, up along the top through the eyepiece here and these will all be sanded down and smoothed out so it looks like it's one clean piece running all the way down the length there so next up these holes here with the screws I'm gonna take some putty here and I'm gonna start filling in all the screw holes with some putty um, I will not be using the sound effects or the batteries that come with it. It's pretty lame anyway. And I just want this as a visual prop. So I'm going to go around and just fill in all the holes with some putty. And I've gone and I've done that. They're all filled in as you can see there. And now that this is all done, it's time to sand away all these raised bits and sand down the uh, putty filled screw holes. So I'm going to start with just going around and sanding off all the text around the toy and getting rid of all that and smoothing this all down. The little battery logo here. And I've got this all sanded and smoothed out on this side. Looks really nice and smooth. And on the other side here, sanded it down smooth, gotten rid of that battery logo. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on sanding down all the uh, putty fill holes here. Alright, so I've got all those sanded and they're nice and smooth, curved. They feel pretty nice and smooth. I think I got them really well and I've also sanded down around all the seams on the bottom and around the handle and the scope and uh, just the entire model is sanded down so it's time to move on to the cone of the blaster here and I'm going to use a drill bit and I'm just going to go around and start drilling out all the holes and I've got all those drilled out now so next up I'm going to cut out the end of this and I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole out to start with. Then I'm going to cut away a little excess so that I can get my Dremel tool in here and I'm just going to Dremel it all down nice and smooth and round. So I've done that now. I've 
sanded down the middle did it also on the front of the scope here and the eyepiece of the scope in the back here and it's all nice and sanded down and smooth and I'm going to put a piece of clear plexi in the eyepiece there and in front of the scope up front here to make it look like there's actual glass inside there. So now moving on I'm just going to go ahead and prime it with my Tamiya fine gray primer and I've got the whole thing primed and already just primed it's amazing what that can do to a toy or a model it just already looks so much nicer than just that orange and white toy but it looks like all of my seams are nice and smooth it all looks really good and like it's a one piece gun here so I've taped off the handles uh, which I'm gonna make look like wood paint them brown later but those are all taped off so that I can move on to the next portion and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use my Tamiya Mica Silver first and I'm going to take this and I've gone around and sprayed part of it not all of it but in this area here a little up around the pieces that hold the scope and that knob and some of the center area in here and I painted with that Mica Silver in the front is going to be painted different in the rear as well. So you can see here there's these knobs which have a little centerpiece in them. I just chop the head off of a nail and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to drill a hole in those and I'm just going to drop this nail inside there just to add a little more detail to it. So I've drilled a hole. I'm just going to stick this nail head in there and glue it in place and I've done that and then I just also primed and painted that with the mica silver. Moving on I'm going to use my Army Painter matte black paint and I've gone and I've painted the entire blaster with the black paint. Uh, this is the paint I use for my Batmobile and a lot of other things. I just love the sheen of it. Kind of a semi-gloss, not totally flat, not glossy though. And I'm going to go ahead and move on now starting out with an exacto knife and I'm just gonna go around edges of things and just kinda lightly scrape away the black paint revealing the mica silver underneath just go around all these pieces and scrape away and make it look worn and weathered and I've got that side pretty much done and I've done it to the other side as well and I think it's looking pretty good so far and I have this folk art nickel it's a you know rub and buff type paint and I put some on a towel here paper towel and I'm just gonna go ahead and on this whole front end I'm just gonna rub on some of this nickel paint and buff it up and it make it look more metallic and different metal than the rest of the gun which is black and that's all done there as you can see Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull my tape off here for the handles of the blaster. And I'm going to go ahead and attempt to make it look kind of wooden. I have some flat earth and chocolate brown paint here from Viejo. I'm going to go ahead and start with kind of a watered down uh, the earth brown. And just go through and paint the handles with that first and then go over it with just some streaks of that chocolate brown to kind of make it look like a little bit of the grain in there with the wood and I've got that painted up gonna have to sit and let that dry to see how it's looking and that's all dried and that's looking pretty good kinda looks like wood grain so I've taped off the rest of the gun I'm gonna do a light coat of gloss over the scope which I did there and I did a heavier gloss on the handle to make it look like shiny wood and you can kinda of see on the scope it's just a slightly different sheen than the rest of the gun because of a light misting I did on the scope with the uh, clear coat next up I've cut out a couple of pieces of some fairly thin acrylic sheet here you can see where I cut it out of this sheet uh, so I've 
cut out for the scope and I'm going to put the one round piece in the eyepiece back here and the other one in the front here. And I've gone and I've painted one side of these with a light misting of black paint so that from the clear side it you can't see through but it looks dark. I'm going to go ahead and take that and insert it into the end of the scope here where the eyepiece would be. Get that secured in place and then glue it in. And I've glued that now into place. And if you look here on the scope there's gold trim on the front and rear end so I've taped off here with some Tamiya tape. I've gone and painted gold on the ends there to match the uh, prop as close as I can. There's also a screw in the handle here as you can see. So I have a little screw here that I found. I'm going to drill a hole in the handle and drop this screw in. So I'm going to go ahead and start by drilling out my hole here which is the same diameter as the threads of the screw and I'm going to go all the way through the handle goes through there and comes out the back side here where I'm going to put a nut. Now I'm going to use a slightly larger bit here and make it so that the head of the screw will drop in a little bit more so it doesn't stick out so far from the handle. And pull that away and you can see when I take the uh, screw head and push it in it's a lot more flush with the handle. Then I've gone and done a light black coat over the screw head and then scuffed it up a little bit to make it look worn. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop that in place here into my handle. I'm going to take my super glue and go around and just glue that screw head down into the handle of the blaster. And I've also gone and I have a little nut here with some threads. I also painted black and scuffed up and I'm going to go ahead and drop those into the other side of the handle. And same thing, I'm going to go around it with some super glue and glue that into place. And now I've got that into place on the other side of the handle so it looks like the screw goes all the way through. I also made this little clear plexi to hold up the front of the blaster for display. And here is my hand solo blaster painted from the uh, toy. I like the way it turned out. It's obviously not perfectly screen accurate, but it's clearly, if you look at it, it's a hand solo blaster without question. I like the way it turned out. You know, nice cheap little, it was like about 10 bucks at Walmart. And I think with a little work and painting, it turned out really nice. And I think it's a nice display piece to add to my collection of models. So there you go, a painted up modified toy of Han Solo's blaster. So I hope you enjoyed this modification of a toy and I'm going to try to start getting some more content out as soon as I can, um, trying to get some free time to do some more building. So until next time, I'd like to thank you for uh, coming back finally again and joining me for my latest uh, episode in model and toy modification building. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like watching my videos, please feel free to give them a like. And so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, click subscribe.